Michael Christian Brown, 13 ABC Action News. Well, the 17th Solheim Cup is coming to Toledo in less than six months, and the city is getting ready. City Council's Regional Growth, Development, and Small Business Enterprise Committee had a meeting this afternoon to discuss all of the details. And 13 ABC's Kayla Molander is live at Promenade Park with all the information you need to know about one of the largest events ever for Toledo. Kayla. Hi, Diane. Yes, that's right. I'm right here in Promenade Park. This is where a massive stage is going to be built to host Gwen Stefani. This will be twice as large as the largest concert Toledo has ever hosted. It's going to be bananas, which thanks to Gwen, we all know how to spell. Now, this is going to be just one of three stages throughout the city here that will be active all day February on Friday, Friday, September 3rd. Now this event will help boost local businesses by featuring local artists, musicians, restaurants and vendors throughout the entire downtown area. Now the is currently in production is an app that will help people get around the event and find parking and get a schedule. But throughout all of these nitty gritty details, there was a lot of hope in this meeting today that this is a chance for Toledo to prove to the world that it is capable of handling major events like this that will bring in people and money to the city. We want everyone to walk away feeling like, oh my God, Toledo did it, that the, we, the city, the LPGA, everyone came together, every partner, restaurant, every vendor um, came together and made it such an amazing, amazing event. Now, I did check Ticketmaster, and all of the VIP tickets for the concert are unavailable. They're sold out. You can still get general admission, but then completely separate from that, there is actually a golf tournament in the Sultanheim Cup. It will be at Inverness Club, and that is already expecting 95,000 people with more tickets selling every day. We'll have some more details on this, especially COVID preps coming up at 11. Kayla Molander, 13 ABC Action News. It is the biggest event of the year in Bryan. But a move by city leaders causing a bit of a stir while they're shutting down.